Farringdon, North London. It's a youthful, vibrant community. The reason why Thornton Tomasetti chose this part of London to set up their office. It may have the look and feel of a design studio, but there's some pretty serious structural engineering going on in this office. The practice focuses on high quality design thinking and being part of an inclusive design team. Their work ranges from small scale houses and building repairs to very large and highly complex specialist buildings. For example, putting a new roof on number one court at Wimbledon and adding a hospitality level. You have to deal with both dynamic structures, but also a structure that will move with the loading of people, will change thermally, so different temperatures, different days, uh, as well as trying to create something that will fit within the architecture of the environment. So, a lot of complexities. Good design doesn't have to be overly complex. The best design, in my view, is pure and simple. The Windmill Hill project. It's beautifully crafted, it's beautifully detailed, very simplistic in, in the design, and it was a true team effort. I mean, everyone involved in that project, they all had a contribution to make, and you can take what is, on the face of it, a very simple project, but make something very, very beautiful. The team here, they seem fantastically competent at doing all the gorgeous stuff, but underneath that, there's a kind of groundswell of, of, of practical stuff, actually. They understand how to use modern modelling techniques to do three-dimensional structures, do the load analysis, and therefore be able to optimise the structure to create something quite unique. In 2006, Les Postewa and Tanya de Hoog both left established firms to create an energetic design-driven practice from the outset. Within weeks, they'd won a major project, great news in itself, but it meant they needed to find a lot of additional resources quickly. The fledgling practice was a good fit for Thornton Tomasetti. The US-based engineering giant had global ambitions, but as yet, no London office. One of the things we're focused on as an organization is really to drive our industry to be more innovative. We have engineers from all over the world, and we find that when we mix their backgrounds, their whether that background is from where they're from or the kinds of work that they do or where they've been educated, it makes us a stronger organization, allows us to produce a better product for our clients. Aligning the two organizations has sometimes been challenging, but it's brought great results, with now over 1,200 people in 39 offices across the world. We have one way of seeing the world, they have another way of seeing the world. Sometimes there's commonalities, but quite often there's not. And um, so getting to that end solution takes a lot longer, but I believe that whenever you are tested in your thinking and the best solution ultimately comes out of those conversations, then it's good for everybody. Being an architect is all about collaborating, really, and Thornton Tomasetti are very good at understanding what is critical in a project to deliver that, that vision that an architect has particularly on the, the projects at London Bridge where we were dealing with very complicated cladding, sometimes uh, solutions that hadn't been thought of before. It required an enormous amount of research and development, really going through all of the detail to find the optimum solution. And I think that ability to follow a scheme at all levels sets them apart. The integration between structures and facade is fundamental and of course we also add the, the other uh, factor which is energy conservation, so thermal requirements, acoustics, fire, so it's, it's a holistic approach to design. We are a design driven company and the combination of structures and facade is, is our strength. That's certainly a thing you get here, you get the whole spectrum which I think is very important. And then you get Les coming in and Les just lifts it, he supports it. He doesn't try and adopt an idea he's had for the last 10 years and this is the opportunity to try it out. He gets it, it's just the way he works. In its first 10 years, Thornton Tomasetti has come through tough times for the construction industry. Grown from three staff to 50 and built an impressive body of work. We feel very good coming out of this now 10 years later, having been a startup having been an office that has been through a significant recession and coming out the other side, I think, stronger and poised for some really great growth and collaboration throughout our whole organization. The future is only going to be brighter.